and welcome back to In the Studio at Davis Media Access. I am your host, Madeline Hamaguchi, and today we'll be talking about the 2018 Davis Pride Festival. Uh, here to join me today is a very special guest, Gloria Partida. <laughs> she is the co-founder of the uh, Phoenix Coalition, right? Mm -hmm. Is it the Davis Phoenix? The Davis Phoenix Coalition. Uh -huh. So um, we'll talk about that a little later too, I think. Sure. Uh -huh. But uh, let's jump right into it. Um, okay. Can you tell me, what is the Davis Pride Festival? So the Davis Pride Festival is an, a festival of inclusion. We like to um, tout it as. It's family friendly. And it is to raise awareness around issues that are faced by our LGBT community. Mm -hmm. And um, like all cultural festivals, it's sort of an opportunity to provide the community a way to engage with a different community that you would not normally engage with in kind of an open, natural, um, safe space. Right. And so one of my favorite stories uh, from last year's Pride Festival was um, a, a friend of mine said that their neighbor had gone to the Pride, Davis Pride Festival and came back and said, I think I was at the Pride Festival. I'm not really sure. And it really made me laugh because I can imagine what this person thought when they were going to this Pride Festival and what sort of image they had in their mind and got there and realized that it's just normal people. Right. It's, right. it's your neighbors, mm -hmm. it's your cousins, it's your co-workers, it's just, um, just like the rest of the community. And really okay. that is what cultural festivals are about. It's about meeting a different culture mm -hmm. that you, uh, as I said, would probably not interact with on a, on a regular basis. And, right. and so um, we are uh, really excited to put it on every year. Yeah, and it looks like, uh, how many years have you done this, by the way? This is our fourth year. Wow. Yes. Wow. That's great. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. And uh, the first year that we put it on, we were really nervous about whether or not anybody would come actually come out. Oh. And uh, we had a, a modest crowd, and the second year it really kind of took off. Oh. And so we're hoping that um, it continues to grow. And uh, our theme this year is Unique Like You because we find that our festival is unique. It's, it's different than the San Francisco Festival. It's different than the Sacramento Festival. Um, it is, it's sort of like Davis. Davis, mm -hmm. Davis tends to be, um, it tends to be unique. I mean, it, Davis it does, likes to yeah. think, you know, our community likes to think of itself as being uh, a little different than it, you know, the, the communities around it, and our festival reflects that. So right. we tend to be a very, it's a picnic-like atmosphere. Uh, we have uh, music that is very diverse. Um, mm -hmm. It kind of covers a lot of different genres. And we have a huge focus on youth at our festival. And the reason for that is because my son grew up in Davis. He you know, started school in second grade here, graduated Davis High. Uh, he came out when he was 13. And at that time, there was nowhere for him to get support. So the LGBT center on campus is very good mm -hmm. and they've got great resources, but he didn't fit there and he didn't go off to college uh, after he graduated. And so he really felt like he didn't fit there. Mm -hmm. um, and he couldn't drive himself to Sacramento. And uh, there was PFLAG in Woodland at that time, but any of those choices required my participation. And as anybody who has teenagers or who has been a teenager knows that you don't want your parent to participate when you're <laughs> trying to find yourself. <laughs> right, right. So um, it, was, it was really, um, it, it was a great opportunity for us to provide that support for young people. Um, recently, we started an LGBT youth group, and we make sure that there's an entire section that uh, is staffed by the GSAs at the junior high and the high school. Oh, great! Yeah. Um, the you know greatest part about that is that they get to design that space. So they decide, you know, what the booths are going to be like. They pick out, like last year, we had the huge hamster balls for, you know, for the people wow, to participate in. And very it, um, uh, specific involvement too for, yes. the, for, for, for the youths and, and, and to get something that fits 
with right. what they like, their age group. But right. That's, that's right. great. And I mean, I have no idea what youth enjoy these days. And so <laughs> it's, it's, it's really helpful to have them uh, kind of on the ground floor of planning that space in that right. area. And um, for youth, by youth, yes. of the particular subculture. Yes, wow. yes. So it's, um, it, it's, it's really special. And uh, so the, the Davis Phoenix Coalition has a number of um, things that they support. So we have a Rainbow Families, which is, a, is parents who get together once a month and they address issues around you know, raising gender fluid children mm -hmm. or they get support if they are uh, LGBT families uh, who, who are raising you know, um, typical children. Mm -hmm. and, um, and they do a great job of advocating for uh, issues in mm -hmm. the schools and for just supporting themselves. And so they, they come out because we have a teen area and we have a kids area. And so uh, the families come out and, and you know just let people know that they're there and they're a support. <laughs> Working through the different stages yes. of, of finding their identity through right. this. Wow. Right, right. And, uh, and like I said, we just started the LGBT youth group and we partnered with the uh, city of Davis. The city of Davis has been very supportive for us, they you know help us out with the space with uh, Central Park. They um, and they have Parks and Rec has partnered with the Phoenix Coalition and the LGBT Center on campus. Um, so between the three of us, we've created this support group, which is really really wow. great because the LGBT Center on campus comes in with curriculum. And oh, uh, cool. so they'll oh, be yeah. they'll be doing a lot of work around safe relationships, yeah. and um, so they have like one night where they meet and it's just kind of a social, and then they have one night where they meet and it's more informative and educational. Oh. And we are you know planning to have a couple of sessions where you know parents can come in and and um, get some information. Uh, oh yeah, and how to how to interact with with right. their kids at this if, time and, and yeah. right. And if they have questions about, um, you know, any any questions really yeah. that that they may have, um, so so that's that's what the festival really supports. It supports um, raising awareness around, as I said, all of all of the all of the issues that the LGBT community may have. So we have. Uh, Sacramento HIV mobile testing unit comes out and does free right. HIV testing for us and we're super excited this year because um, we have uh, uh, we think the music is going to be really great. It looks fantastic. It I'm so excited for yes. this concert. Yes. Wow. So I'm a huge music fan mm -hmm. and so I've always uh, wanted to for music to be a uh, focus of the festival and like I said it's one of the things that people can really gather around and really feel like they're on common ground around mm -hmm. music and so we really try to push that. Uh, we we partnered this year with the Davis Live Music Collective. They oh, they do Music resource. Fest. Yeah. They do the, the Music Festival every summer and so they have uh, selected four acts for us and uh, we're excited about that. And we have Thea Austin, mm -hmm. who's going to come and perform, and uh, she's bringing uh, Dave Hernandez, who is a former American Idol person, and um, and we just secured Effie Passero, who uh, is on uh, this current American Idol, and she's a powerhouse singer. She's uh, fabulous, and so we, we're, just, we're just really, really excited. Mm -hmm. We're really excited about the music. Um, the other uh, part of the festival is the Run for Equality, and that is something that is particularly special to our family because the Davis Phoenix Coalition was founded five years ago because my son uh, was the victim of a very violent hate crime, and it um, the community really came out and supported him, and we were really grateful for that. And out of that, I uh, had an, a number of people who said, you know, what can we do? 
and so we formed the Davis Phoenix Coalition to um, to uh, prevent intolerance in the community. And so we work with the police department, for instance, on better relationships. We support the anti-bullying efforts of the school. Mm -hmm. um, we put on the Davis Pride Festival. As I said, we've uh, formed these groups. We do forums. We do, um, you know, movies and uh, just try to engage the community around inclusion. Right. And but anyway, when this when this incident happened with my son, uh, he's a long distance runner. So he ran cross country in high school. Um, he's run like half marathons. He just he runs all the time. It's what he does. So <laughs> after the incident, he couldn't walk. He and it was unclear about how much recovery he would be able to do. So the very first um, Pride Festival. Rather than having uh, a, a parade, because most, most Pride festivals have a parade, uh, we had a run because he was able to run. You know, he was, it took about a year, but he was back to running. Wow. And wow, that's, so that's it's, excellent Re recovery. Yes, wow. yes. And so it's, like I said, it's special to us. It, it, it sort of signifies the, the resilience that that people have, that people can come back and people can um, be strong after whatever incident that that you know happens in your life. And yeah. uh, last year it was really sad because we had a group that came out uh, that were running for a teen in I think it was Solano County uh, who had committed suicide. Uh, because they were they were gender fluid, and um, and they had run the previous year in our festival, and and then couldn't run that year because they had committed suicide. And so this very large group came out in support of of that young person, and so we're just we're happy to uh, to be able to use to use this mm -hmm. as, as a way to, to show um, solidarity mm -hmm. and you know, to show like a whole community just running together. It's, it's, really, it's, it's really great. And, it, and like I said, it, it means a whole lot to us. So this year we have three distances. We have a 10K, a 5K, we have a 1K because we had a lot of people that said, we really love to support you, but we're just not runners and we can't go that far. So. Right. <laughs> So we have the 1K and we have a rainbow dash. So um, that, for, for young children oh, to run yeah. uh, a block or so. And we're really hoping that people will sign their kids up. It's $5 for the rainbow dash. And we've only got one little rainbow dasher right now. So we're hoping that we get more people that come out and actually, you know, uh, run with this. It's really cute. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, so I don't know if there's other yeah, the, information uh, you'd like to. I think so. I think um, one thing is that it sounds like this festival is made to be accessible and, you know, truly, uh, uh, you know, with 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 physically and through, you know, open hearts, open minds. Mm -hmm. um, I think a, a, a something that students are often worried about since mm -hmm. we are connected so closely with that community of students at UC Davis mm -hmm. is uh, uh, cost, you mm -hmm. know, and, and how much, how much is this going to cost? Because I think people do want to be involved, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I think this festival is free, is that right? The festival is free. Okay. Um, it's not free to us, so we're right. really, uh, we're really hoping that we get sponsors. We're looking for sponsors in the community. We're looking for volunteers. The run in particular takes a lot of volunteers. Um, and, and and sorry that that does that costs um, a, a, some amount to be involved in the race, right? Like uh, 20, 20, 35, 25 for a it's, bib. It's forty dollars for, for the five and the ten k. It's twenty dollars for the one k. Mm -hmm. And as I said, I think it's five dollars for the rainbow dash. Okay, but, but that's that sounds that sounds very doable. Yes, and, and it sounds yeah. like. Uh, um, mm -hmm. You're expecting a big turnout on that day, and I, I think on, on that day in particular, mm -hmm. uh, it sounds like we're we're running out of time a little okay, bit. Okay. But I do want to yeah. get out to the viewers uh, that it 
that that day is May 20th. May 20th. The run starts at 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. and the festival starts at 10 a.m. with all the festivities, booths. Uh, you can visit Davis as well as, as you know, learn more about this culture, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and, and uh, um, it's at Community Park as well, so it's yes. very central. Uh, or so, sorry, Central Park. Central Park, right? Yes, sorry. <laughs> yes, I think it, I think it's four hundred one C Street. Great. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, thank you so much. I'm sorry we don't have more time, yeah, no but worries. I really enjoyed talking to you about okay. this. If you want to learn more, go to DavisPride.org or uh, find out more on Facebook. Okay. Great. See you next time.